Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I am so sorry if I sound sick, it's because I am. I have been sick now for, I feel like two weeks. It is what it is. I'm just praying that I get over this before baby comes. Thankfully though, he's getting all the antibodies from me. But if you've ever experienced being sick while pregnant, it is not a fun time. For today's video, I am so excited to be sharing with you guys everything that I am bringing to the hospital with me for baby number three. I am just about 38 weeks pregnant. At my 37 week appointment, I was dilated to a three. It made me really ready to just get everything in order and feel prepared and ready to go because I had a list of everything that I needed but I didn't have like, everything in my bag yet and now I do and I feel so much better. Also, I just want to say that every body is so different. So what maybe you need and want to bring to the hospital with you might be completely different from somebody else. Do what makes you feel good. And I really hope that this video helps you in any way if you're a first time mom or if you are not a first time mom and you're just trying to get some more inspiration or you just kind of forgot what it's like. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. Oh, I forgot something. I already forgot something. The first thing that I'm going to be bringing with me is a very cozy comfy blankets hospital blankets I wouldn't even really consider them blankets they're more like sheets they are not cozy not comfy so I do recommend bringing just a really nice cozy blanket so that you just are more comfortable and let's go ahead and jump into my bag this is from the brand Mina Bay this bag is absolutely beautiful it's a very nice travel size and I'm so excited to be using it so I will link it below if anyone is interested. The first thing that I am bringing is a fan. I get the worst postpartum sweats. I didn't have this the last time and it was pretty rough. And so I told myself that I was going to be bringing this the next time. Also, this pregnancy has been really rough for me when it comes to hot flashes. I have a feeling that might carry on into my labor. So this is probably going to be really handy for labor as well. This is just one that goes on, hooks on a stroller. I didn't really feel the need to go out and purchase another one when I already had this one on hand. The next thing I will show you guys is my toiletry bag. So on the front pocket of this toiletry bag, I have put a chapstick that is easy to get out because I don't know why in labor your lips tend to get chapped. I don't know if it's because like the hospital is just drier and colder, but it's always nice to have some chapstick on hand. And then I also have my um, glasses in here as well. And then in here, I have a bunch of travel things. So I already have my contact case in here. I have some facial cleanser, moisturizer, have a little mini loofah. I have this little deodorant. We got some makeup wipes, some body wash. And then I also have some shampoo and conditioner, although I do not plan to wash my hair because that is just a lot of work and after you give birth you are not ready to be standing washing your hair in the shower don't even know why I'm bringing this I think it just makes me feel better for some reason so and then I'm also bringing this little travel toothbrush and then this travel toothpaste it stresses me out thinking about all the things that I'm gonna have to put in my bag when I'm actually in labor I got a bunch of travel size stuff so I just don't have to stress about it I know that everything's in here and the only things that I'm gonna have to really grab are my camera my everyday makeup bag and that's pretty much it so and then on this side I have more hair things so I have this headband that might really come in handy during labor. I also have a few different clips in here. I don't know why I have three, but I have some dry shampoo because I do not plan on washing my hair, so this will really come in handy. And then I have some hairspray and this little travel brush, and then also a scrunchie, and I have a few bobby pins in here as well. I really like to get travel size stuff too because it just makes it easier to pack everything. It just makes less bulkiness in here. The next thing in my bag that I'm bringing is his little baby book. I got this one off of Amazon. I love it, it's so sweet. 
so simple but i'm bringing this because it has an area where i'm going to be putting his like footprints and handprints in it but i had that next thing is i am going to bring my favorite nursing bra this is from arden and i love this one because it is so comfortable it has a good padding in it but no wires the padding stays in there which is so nice and it's just nude it's not super bulky it's so comfortable so i really love this one and then i'm also gonna bring a beanie i do have this little mirror i really want to limit like how much i have to get up and go to the bathroom so having just like this travel mirror i think will be really nice to have i also am bringing a few pair of just like very comfy cozy socks just something to make me feel more comfortable. I'm also going to be bringing a few of these disposable underwear. The ones at the hospital they give you are, they don't stay up very well. They tend to slide off. And so I might wear those for the first day after I give birth. But then I think I'm going to want to switch over to something more comfortable like this. That will just make me feel more secure. And those are from Freedom Mom. I'm going to link everything below if you guys are interested in any of this must for me is a robe a robe is just something that's just so cozy also very very easy to breastfeed in if you plan to breastfeed and i really like this one because it is very lightweight it has like the waffle print it has quarter sleeves and then it goes probably about to my knees. Then I am going to be bringing this nightgown. This one's just super easy to breastfeed in. It is very, very basic, um, but I have brought this every single time now and have loved it. So it's not like the most flattering thing, but it's definitely cozy and just easy. I also have this one. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but it's just a pretty one. And I thought maybe for pictures, the only thing is it gets really wrinkled, but it is very lightweight and it is really cute and it's buttoned down so it is very easy to breastfeed in. I'll just bring it just in case, you know. And then as far as my going home outfit, I am bringing this set right here. It's really cute cozy. I found it off of Amazon. It already fits me now pregnant, so I know it's going to fit me then as well oversized loose but still cute i am going to be bringing the after ease drops i have heard amazing things about this from multiple different moms i haven't tried it before but i know it's just drops and you put it in your drink like your water so after you have a baby obviously your uterus is going to start going back into place and when that happens it causes painful contractions like if you were giving birth again and these right here are supposed to help ease that pain i've heard that those contractions get more painful after each kid and i've heard the third one is pretty rough so i invested in this i also am bringing a comb i feel like this trend has definitely gained more popularity but they say i haven't tried it before when you are having painful contractions that it's really beneficial and helpful to squeeze a comb it kind of like stimulates your brain to focus on this rather than this even if you do plan on having medication to help with pain it is good to have some sort of like backup plan um, to cope with that and then i am also going to be bringing my slippers as well as some shower shoes definitely a must if you plan on taking a shower which usually after i give birth i do like to rinse off in the shower just to feel fresh and clean you know and then i also am going to be bringing my boppy pillow i feel like there's so many mixed feelings on the boppy some people love it some people think it's not important but I have used a boppy with both of my kids. I have found it really helpful for just like multiple different things. And I want to bring it to the hospital with me for breastfeeding purposes. And now moving on to baby stuff. This bag right here is Lily BB. Love Lily BB. I do have a I do have a discount code if anyone is I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all. I sound so sick. 
but I do have a discount code if anyone is interested. Over here, I just have this little pouch, little pacifier pouch, and I have a couple of his binkies in here. These are the Itsy Ritzy binkies. They're very cute. Also, the hospital does have binkies as well. Really, I don't bring a whole lot for baby because they have pretty much everything there as well as things for me postpartum wise i just have zero clue how this is going to go with my daughter everly i did tear with my son i did not so things that i needed for both of those postpartum experiences are completely different and so i'm just going to play it by ear you know and know that they have pretty much everything there that i'm going to need and then by the time i get home i can restock on whatever i do need instead of like purchasing a bunch of things that i'm not even going to be needing you know what i'm saying i am going to bring a couple pair of beanies for him because it is going to be colder this is going to be his coming home outfit for all three of my kids i have purchased the Lulu and Company little sets came with these bottoms. They are insanely soft. They are that bamboo material and uh, I just I just love it. And it also came with this little hat here and I did get the pants set since it is going to be colder. They have a lot of like the knotted gowns as well. That's actually what I purchased for my son and my daughter. But since it's going to be colder, I wanted his little legs to not be exposed when I put him in the car seat. So I thought that the pant set was a better alternative. And then I am just going to bring an extra little sleeper for him. This one is from K. Quinn. And it is again that super soft buttery bamboo <coughs> bamboo material. Goodness y'all pray for me. The last item of clothing I'm bringing is his little um, photo shoot or photo shoot his little like announcement photos like after he's born I plan to put him in this little outfit here this is from the Grayson yeah the Grayson collective from Target I love that line I think that line is so so good and I just thought this sweater and little pants set was just absolutely adorable then i am planning on bringing this swaddle this one's just like a really really pretty one that i plan to just take photos with really that's what i'm bringing is just like things for like photos because they're just gonna have everything else there and then i am going to be bringing this nursing cover that has a wire inside I think this is just going to be really, really beneficial for newly breastfeeding a baby. Like if I have any visitors in the room and he's wanting to breastfeed, I can just pop this on um, and I can still see him really good. I also am going to be bringing this nursing cover as well. I plan to use this one for his car seat just to put over top of it. And then I'm also going to be bringing some little booties. These ones are so so stinking cute these are from gap and then these ones actually came with that other little beanie that i have and then i'm gonna cover his name but i also have his little name hoop here this one i absolutely love i got it off of etsy it took a while to get in i was kind of nervous that it wasn't gonna come in in time but it did i got it and i started crying <laughs> immediately and then i also am bringing this little pacifier clip I don't know if I'll be needing it, but it's very small and easy to pack, so I just brought one. I don't think any more is necessary. And then also I am bringing our Dream Egg white noise machine. I really like this one because it's very small, so it's easy to transport. And then also TJ, my husband, he's going to be bringing a bag as well. And in that bag, I do plan on bringing like snacks and I'll probably keep like my camera in there as well. I also plan on grabbing a long extension cord or a long charger. It is so hard to find an outlet that is close to your bed so if you have like an extension cord or like an extra long charging cord that is very beneficial because when you're in the hospital there's really not a whole lot that you're doing so you're on your phone more and it's nice to have some more like entertainment. I do find it really beneficial to have like a checklist of everything that you're wanting to bring. I can show you guys the one that I made. It was very easy off of Canva. You guys can screenshot it if it 
if you find it helpful at all. I don't know when this video is going to go live, if I'm going to have a baby by the time that this video goes live, or if I'll still be waiting on my little dude. You never know. But I feel good that if he did come tonight, we are ready to go. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope that it was helpful for any of you. I will link everything down below for y'all, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.